I smell a human. What are the odds? Two in one day. No point in hiding, human. I know you're there. Hmm. Tiny thing, aren't you? How do you expect to defeat me alone? You don't? Ugh, another negotiator come to convince me to leave. Be gone before I turn you to ash. Oh, you're just an adventurer. A peaceful adventurer? As if I'd believe that. Hmm? Your partner? Oh, is that her over there? Fell through the ceiling and disturbed my rest, noisy thing. I was thinking of eating her, but humans have far too many bones. Much too crunchy for a light snack. Make no mistake, though, I don't have to eat you to kill you, so watch yourself. No, she's not dead. I can hear her heartbeat from where I sit. I cannot, however, hear yours. What exactly are you? An undead? That's rich. You don't even have the benefit of looking decayed to scare off foes. Oh, you have brute strength? Then tell me, how did someone as oh so strong as you end up dead? Poison. Yes, that'll do the trick. For humans, at least. Wouldn't work on me, of course. So I'm guessing this little morsel must be a necromancer, then. I'm starting to believe you didn't come to kill me, if only because I don't think anyone could purposely make such a pathetic attempt at dragon slaying. Besides, a smart necromancer would have brought an army of undead. How could this one have the skill to resurrect a human, but only you? A long story? Well, I have a long life, and if you don't want me to end yours prematurely, you'll tell me everything I want to know. After all, even the most powerful necromancer can't revive ashes. Consider it penance for interrupting my slumber. You tell me something interesting, and I may just let you walk out of here with all of your limbs. Ugh, hold on. It's irritating to have you shouting up at me. Let me just... There. A hideous human form, but it'll do. Until your story is finished, at least. Easier to speak the human language with this form as well. Don't get any ideas, though. I am leagues beyond you, even in this form. Now, tell me your story. <laughs> you and your necromancer are even more foolish than you look. Don't say any more, human. I know why you're here now. A necromancer and an undead looking for life crystals. Quite the contradiction. But a life crystal won't help you. Unless you wish to become a beast with a human shape. How do I know? What an insulting question. I am a dragon. I have lived for centuries untold. I've collected more knowledge than you will ever know in your life. And I just so happen to know that resurrected humans have corrupt souls. It doesn't so much matter when you're undead, but if you were to be properly revived, you would be unrecognizable. Little more than a mad shadow of the person you once were. Your necromancer friend should have known that, at least. Are all humans this empty-headed? Don't answer that. I already know they are. Oh, don't look so disappointed, human. Or do, it's quite funny to see, actually. Hmm. Well, I was going to tear you and your girlfriend apart for the fun of it, but that would get blood all over my nice gemstones. But I think I have a better idea. Why don't you take what you came here for? A life crystal that you can't even use. Oh, you could sell it, but that question will always be there. Was that dragon telling the truth? What if I can be revived? Perhaps you'll hold on to it, being dragged around by that girl day after day until you can't take it anymore and use it. And then you'll wake up as a mindless, destructive husk and kill your useless necromancer. 
and then some huntsmen will probably kill you eventually, and your quest will have been in vain. So then, human, do you still want to take a crystal? Of course you do, foolish human. I will allow you to take one life crystal. Only one. But in exchange, you must beg for it. You heard me. Humans are so proud, throwing their weight around and taking whatever they please. It'll be nice to see one humbled for a change. So beg. Beg for that which will destroy you. Pathetic. What a humiliating display. Very well, human. You may take one crystal. And when you leave, take your little necromancer with you. If you're so strong, you should be able to carry her. Now be gone, dead human. You'd best make certain we never meet again.